Yet another beautiful Saturday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Amanda Reynolds here. You can see pretty nice out there up in Tupelo. Some sunshine, some clouds, not looking too bad. Right now, temperatures in the low 80s, and that's where most of us are. We do have a nice little breeze out of the north. That will continue as we go into the overnight tonight. Temperatures will drop down into the low 60s, but it'll be another clear, quiet, and comfortable evening. And we're going to see the four, same forecast pretty much for tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. We'll start out in the low 60s, but we'll climb up into the low 80s. And we'll see a similar story for Monday as well. But changes in the forecast, we get closer to the middle of the week, all thanks to Hurricane Irma currently sitting just north of Cuba and seeing some of those rain bands starting to uh, move into southern Florida. It will continue to move to the north. You can see that's where it's sitting right now as a Category 3 hurricane. But it'll push up to the north. The official track has it going along the west coast of Florida. But it'll back, push back to the north and west as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Could see some impacts in our area, but no real major threat to our area. The impacts we could see from Irma, really some rain showers for Tuesday and Wednesday. And it'll be breezy. We'll see some of those cooler conditions, but no severe weather really expected. Nothing like what we saw from Harvey. So future cast showing Irma going up the Florida Peninsula, and then it will kind of stall out over southwestern Georgia, up close to, closer to Atlanta. And then it just kind of will fizzle, and we'll kind of get the northwestern edge of it. And we could see that those rain showers for Tuesday and Wednesday. So looking forward to the seven-day forecast. Beautiful conditions for tomorrow as well as Monday. Once we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we're really going to see those rain showers as well as those those gusty winds. So not looking the greatest for Tuesday and Wednesday, but once we get into the second half of the work week, looking pretty nice.